Randy was talking yesterday, he said when he took you off the power play uh, in Pittsburgh, he was doing that because he wanted to, I guess, get your competitive juices going. Mm-hmm. Kind of, you would kind of have the mindset as I'm going to go out there yeah. and, and defy us. To, was that was that your mindset? Uh, I guess so. I mean, I, I guess you can use this as that. It's just you kind of use it as, as motivation. Um, you know, just do everything you can. Like I've said many times before, you just try to be as productive as you can with the ice time given. So any opportunity that I'm given, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go out there and do the best I can in, in order to, to earn more, more ice time. Uh, yeah, I wasn't happy about it. <laughs> uh, the, Randy, and you have even said that you're better when you're physically involved in the game. In fact, I think Steve Spot said they like it when you're angry. Yeah. How do you get, like, I mean, how do you get yourself angry? Is it the smell and salts, or is it... Just... Yeah, I mean, just, you got to prepare yourself. I've been, uh, you know, doing this for, for a couple years now, and it's it seems like it gets a little easier, but I'm never, the, you know, the type of guy that's going to go out there and get, you know, 10 hits a game. It's just a matter of waiting for the opportunity, and normally I'm pretty good at, you know, catching guys when, when they're a little bit, you know, vulnerable and, and uh, when they least expect it. So I think that's, that's you know, where my physical presence comes in. I'm not going to go out there. I'm going to finish my hits. I'm not going to go out there and, you know, and lead the league or lead the team in hits. But, um, you know, when I, when I go to hit, I, I know it's, uh, you know, I, I want there to be a presence felt. Your team, your team finished with 48, uh, I think, the most, the most fights in the league last season. Different story this year. I think you guys are, are near the bottom. Obviously, it's just a new approach uh, with, with a few of the yep. dominant fighters not on the team this year. Well, I mean, everyone knows what happened with, with you know the enforcers and that whole thing that, that went on. So I think it's just a matter of getting a balance through your whole lineup and being able to roll four lines. And, you know, fighting is kind of, I mean, it's never going to be out of the game completely, but it's slowly uh, becoming less and less, you know, because you, you realize that you know, at the end of the day, and getting two points is really what matters. Nazem, you're playing your 200th uh, NHL game. Does it feel like it's been 200 games? Ah, uh, it doesn't. I mean, time flies. It seems like I was playing my first one not too long ago. So uh, you know, it's nice to have a little experience under your belt, and you know, hopefully there's you know, another 200 or more to follow. Is this when the season kind of when you feel like you should be hitting your stride and like mm-hmm. you've talked about becoming a complete player? Yeah, I think I've you know I've done a great job at that. I think I've you know in, in the weaker areas that I've been in the past that I've you know made some corrections. I've watched some film. I've worked hard as I can to to be able to you know be a better player in those areas, and and that's really what I'm looking for because I know my my offense is you know that's not going to leave me, but you know it's a matter of tightening up everything else and, and becoming you know, that whole package like we talked about. I guess the challenge of getting better as an NHLer takes years, but the expectations right from 2009 on you now is they they've been there. That can't be easy. Oh, it hasn't been. No, honey, it uh, seems like it's taken some years off my life, but um, you know, it's uh, it's something that you got to deal with. And I kind of had, had a news flash of it early on in my career, which I'm thankful for because. Um, you know, without that, I probably wouldn't be able to deal with some of the stuff I've had to deal with. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, I think it's a little bit of a blessing in disguise, and, and hopefully things get easier from here.